What up, good people? Welcome back to the fourth season of Love and Grit. I'm Laia. I'm Justin. And I'm Rachel. And today's show focuses on one man for many reasons. Here are three off the top of my head. Number one, he's the reason fill in the blank is your favorite live show artist. Number two, he is the reason that you are still thinking about last year's Super Bowl and unbeknownst to you, the reason you're looking forward to this year's. And most importantly, he is Philly and South Jersey. Today, we get into the love and grit that drives Adam Blackstone. But first around the Philly faves, Justin, what are we doing? We're celebrating 50 years of hip hop. So who's your favorite Philly hip hop artist? <laughs> oh. Rachel? Rachel? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm going to say, how about one of my favorite songs? Oh, wait. No, that's not wait. I can do what I want. So one of my favorite <laughs> songs <Justin. laughs> is by, it's by Philly artist Meek Mill. And I still really like um, Dreams and Nightmares. I do what I want. Okay. <laughs> what I, I do okay. what I want. Maybe next show we're gonna find out her favorite MC next show, y'all. Stay tuned. Um, but it ain't but just so you know it ain't meek. Okay. My Stop favorite... it. <laughs> I really like it. So <laughs> okay. Um whatever. I'm gonna cheat like Rachel because it's the theme, and I want to do an old and a new. So for my old favorite Philly hip hop MC or hip artist, I'm saying the roots, black thought, no doubt. Yeah. And for my new, come on, Tierra Wack, come through. That's my shima. Yeah. Yeah. Some visual. It was some visual. Hey, don't it feel good to do it the way you want to do it? I did, but I still kind of kept within them. Okay, Justin. And I'll be a complete role follower per usual. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going with Eve. I've just always thought she's amazing. And like I, I sometimes like forget she's from Philly. She's such a big to... star. Yes, a lot of people do. So remind them, Justin. Thank you. Eve, baby. But I mean, mm -hmm. Adam Blackstone, he's a star. Oh, he is a musical mastermind. Oh, all right. Well, then I guess I should get this thing started. Welcome to Love and Grit, Adam. Welcome Ooh, to the It's an show. honor to have you here. Thank you for taking time from, you're actually literally working on the Super Bowl right now. I am literally in Los Angeles, California with uh, my girl, Queen Rihanna, and uh, we are preparing for a very big um sporting event slash concert okay your most memorable moment from last year's halftime show that's a great question i think my most memorable moment i had a couple memorable moments i want to see if it's me, one of mine so me me not being from la right okay and seeing 200 field cast people crip walk <laughs> I love that you gave that, um, as far as the dance, as one of your memorable moments because it's the 50th anniversary of hip hop. And a lot right. of times when we think about those conversations, um, people think simply of the artists, but fail to have conversations about, you know, DJs and dances and that that's yeah. a form of, you know, um, social justice and activism and so many other things. So that, many other um, things. And unifying who, folks as well. Yeah, it unifies, it encompasses who we are as a people. It encompasses where our music came from and where awesome. it's continuing to evolve to, you know, one of my brothers and, you know, top 10 MCs, Black Thought, like, I, I think, you know, he, he and, and the Roots in general, like, they embody where it was just, like, uh, uh, it, we found it a privilege to talk about the struggle uh, in an open forum, and so even for me, I encompass so much in my body of just, like, I'm I'm a little bit quest love, but I'm a little bit puff daddy at the same time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so all of those those men and women, I'm a little bit Jill, but I'm also a little bit Nicki Minaj. Like, Me too. You know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would say a little camp, but yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and I'm like I'm like a little bit Sean G, but I'm a little bit Suge Knight as well you know what i'm saying so it's this like, is a great way to be described funny story about lawrence lee she was the first person i met at school when i moved to philly in 2000 
And let me correct myself because I always lump her in as a Philly artist, but Lauren is very much so from the Midwest. But she's we just Cleveland, have- Ohio, for yes. sure. She yes. she's gonna make it known. However, just like I was born in Jersey and raised in Jersey, Philly adopted me twenty three years ago, and so me and Lauren, me too, we represent for sure. So, um, but you don't Lauren, have to be born in Philly to be a Philadelphia. That's the oh, truth. I love- uh, I that's the truth, man. It's so much brotherly and sisterly love. We they they accepted us, and you know, Sean and Rich, rest in peace, and 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 Amir and and Tariq. They just you know they have such a huge umbrella, and kind of taught me what BBE was going to be before they even know. You know yes. that they were sewing into me um, how to how to act and how to maintain character and integrity in a business. So wait, Um, so go back to Justin's question then, because what is it about Philadelphia in that way? I think it's the brotherhood. If I can can be completely honest, at any point at Larry Gold's, the studio, you could walk in and it was Brandy, Rodney Jerkins, Scott Storch, Justin Timberlake, Erica Badu, Anthony Hamilton, Jill Scott, and everybody was welcoming. But I I do want to say too with Questlove, like, He's doing so much that people don't even realize he got nominated for a Grammy this year for his audio book. I forgot. You're right. And so, like, you know, to have won an Emmy last year, a Grammy the following week, be up for another Grammy, have Tony from Hamilton. It's like, I'm sorry, he won Oscar, not Emmy, but Oscar. And then doing the documentary film for a short list of another Oscar. It's just like, you know. It's just really incredible. So <laughs> he has shown little black boys like me, I can do it. And so it's going to happen. And I know my words have power and I'm speaking it into existence and I'm opening the doors for the next Adam Blackstone and and, and just making sure that young kids know that there are no limits to your dreams for sure. And so- we've had a, a bunch of people he's mentioned on Love and Grit. If you haven't heard those yeah. episodes, who, who have we talked to? Sean G. Yeah. Quest Love. And- yeah, Quest Love, Sean G, the manager of The Roots and, he- and president of Live Nation Urban. Uh, Lauren Talese, who yeah. he said he went to school with, and now she is the, just the voice of this city. She like is beautiful, she is uh, beautiful. Uh, uh, uh. And then she's also on that album. Episodes. Yeah, yeah listen mean, to the episode. He, he listen to Legacy. A couple people that we need to get on the podcast. That's for sure. Oh yeah, they're they're all on the album. So shout out to Jazzy Jeff. Yes. Uh, shout out to Jasmine Sullivan, who Justin yes. thinks has been on the show. Yes. Uh, just because I love her so much, <laughs> I'm in her presence so much. <laughs> And shout out to the Baylor Project because we coming for y'all too, good Mary. Season folks. four, baby. Right. Yes. Season four, that's right. Yes, yes.